Hello friends, welcome to Easy GST for you. I am your host Girish Kulkarni and I welcome you to today's discussion related to quantum of penalties under section 129. What is the amount of penalty that one has to pay if he is carrying the goods or if the goods are being transported in a conveyance and those are not accompanied with the proper documentation. Now what is that? Uh, let's assume if the goods are being transported in a vehicle and those are not accompanied with maybe e-way bill or maybe a tax invoice which has to be generated and uh, before the movement starts then what is the penalty that one has to pay now the goods may face detention or maybe seizure the provisions related to that are covered under section 129 there is a detailed procedure which has been given through circular as to what steps are to be followed if the vehicle is intercepted by authorities now in this video we are not going to cover those provisions but we are just going to cover the quantum of the penalties those will be levied now that basically this particular offense will be divided into two categories category number one if the owner of the goods comes forward for the rescue of or release of the goods and point number two if the transporter of the goods comes forward for the release of the goods the quantum of penalty is different in two this different scenarios now let's assume first scenario if the goods are being transported in a vehicle and those are not accompanied with the documents which are prescribed by the law or the rules which may be again a tax invoice or an e-way bill then for release of the and the goods are intercepted and detained by the authorities then the amount of the penalty which one has to pay will be first tax amount that whatever rate is applicable to that particular goods that tax amount and 100% of tax amount again as the penalty so that effectively double tax one has to pay in that case if the owner of the goods comes forward now what happens if the goods are exempt there is no tax so what happens in that case 2% of the value of goods are to be paid as a penalty to release the goods now category number two if the transporter comes forward to release the goods to rescue the goods what is the penalty the penalty is first the tax amount then 50% of the value of the goods now please note that 50% is applicable in case if the transporter comes for the release and that 50% of the value of goods not the tax amount reduced by the actual tax amount one has to pay to release the goods now what happens if the goods are exempt it will be 5% of the value of the goods now does one have uh, if one has to pay the actual amount before the release or it can be paid later on yes the payment uh, the payment which which can be made a, on a later date but only after providing a security in, form, in terms of a bond to the authorities so those basically two are the provisions related to the penalties of the goods which, which are being transported and not accompanied with the proper documentation so this question was asked by many of our associates and clients that what is the amount of penalty and how much one has to pay if there is no proper e-way bill which is generated so i will request all of you to uh, generate the e-way bill if required by your transaction before the movement of the goods because it is a very simple uh, procedure online which is available and uh, considering the heavy penalties which are there uh, in the section under section 129 one will definitely go for choosing the proper generation of e-way bill and maintenance of the documentation along with the transportation thank you so much for your patient listening hope you like the video if you do please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates on various provisions of gst law thank you so much